Hello and welcome to the Bayern Near View with me, your host Nathan Hundley. Today I'm interviewing Lucy Townsend, who is the director of people at Wilshire Council. Thank you for being interviewed by me today, and if you're ready, I'll start the questions, unless you have any opening remarks. Oh, good to go, Nathan. What does your job entail? Okay, so as you said, so my job title is Corporate Director of People, and I'm also the Director of Children's Services. So I have responsibility for quite a lot of different services at the council, which includes children's social care, so when families or children need additional support um, or they may need to be looked after. Um, education, education and skills, so we support schools and we have the special educational needs uh, and disability service and where other children have other additional needs we um, have a responsibility in that space. Um, I also have responsibility for adult social care um, so for older people, adults with learning disabilities, uh, mental health needs, um, also some of housing, so when people are homeless, um, and also public health. So, so really big, and um, I spend a lot of time in meetings, um, which can be a bit boring sometimes, <laughs> if I'm honest. Um, my favourite bit of the job is when I get to meet uh, nice young people like yourself and I love the Meet the Leaders session and I've had the opportunity to, like at Christmas, I went to a Christmas party with young people. We recently had an events and award ceremony for our young people in care and, and they're the best bits of my job. What are Wilkshire Council plans to help people with SEND needs within the next 12 months? Now that's a huge question. Um, so we have we have a we have a strategy, um, and we have lots of areas in that strategy, um, and there are some specifics that we're doing in terms of making sure that we get in early as early as possible to support um, children with their um, education, or whether that's when they're still at nursery or at school, or whether their needs um, become. Um, needing support as they get older, that as soon as you know someone knows that they need support, that we're able to put that that support in. We're also increasing um, our school places, especially in our special school places. And I'm sure you've heard about all of the new work that's going on at Silverwood School. Um, we are doing work with launching a new growing up and moving on service for 18 to 25 year olds. Um, so there is a huge amount of work. Um, hopefully that gives you a, a bit of a flavour. How does Welsh Council support young people with SEND needs currently? Okay, so some of those things that I've just mentioned, we, we do some of that already and we're, we're doing, you know, want to do more and we want to do it better. Um, we have a special educational needs and disability service. Um, so that team do part of the assessments and they collate lots of information um, from lots of partners. So, so what I should have said earlier really in terms of part of my job and how we support young people is that we work really closely with our partners. So we work very closely with our health colleagues um, and also voluntary and community sector organisations. And um, also, again, uh, apologies, I, I kind of missed this off, the absolute priority for us um, in terms of the next 12 months is working with young people mm. to make sure that their voice is heard and that they are mm. able to influence and help us shape those services. So in terms of, you know, having the opportunity to work with you guys is absolutely brilliant. Um, and we are doing some of that already, but we want to do more of that. Yeah. And also with adults so that they can partly look back and about how life was when they were younger people and how life was when they transitioned and how life is for them now. Right. And it's really important that we focus on adulthood as well and, and providing the right opportunities so that people can feel integrated in their communities, um, can live locally, right. um, you know, be happy and healthy and, and have whatever right. opportunities people want. What is your overall goal for working with young people? So I think I've, I've kind of mentioned, but, you know, personally, um, I want every young person to have the best start in life 
Okay. So that's right from you know when they're um, from when they're born, um, and they have all of the you know health needs and the opportunities to learn and play, um, and go to nursery, go to good schools that um, absolutely um, inspire young people to you know reach their their dreams, oh. um, and that if young people children have a need, um, whatever that need is, that we have the support within Wiltshire, and that's not necessarily through the council, but within Wiltshire, so whether it's through their local communities, again, through voluntary community sector, their friends, their families, to get that support that they need so that they then can carry on through life um, and, as, as I said, sort of achieve their dreams and um, be the, you know, the best that they, they can and they want to be. Um, and really important that people um, feel you know, happy um, and contented in their sort of day-to-day -day living. What other supports do you offer with education and employment? So we have a few different services within the council. Um, I've mentioned the, the Growing Up um, new service. We have, um, we have employment and skills teams um, where they particularly will work with young people who aren't in education and employment. So um, we, we kind of do checks. Um, after children finish their schooling yeah. at 16 and find out whether young people are at college or whether they're on apprenticeships um, or whether they're employed and if they're not then we look to provide those young people with specific support to help them um, you know either go to college or an apprenticeship um, or if they want to get a job um, and sometimes it's hard to get that information so we try really really hard to find out what every young person in that age bracket is doing in Wiltshire and um, we also have like the careers hub and they work in both the um, mainstream and in special schools so that young people have the opportunity to think about what sort of career they might want. We have job coaches um, who will support people into kind of writing CVs, applying for jobs, going along for interviews and also provide some additional support whilst people are in jobs, if it's certainly if it's their sort of first time. Um, and things like travel training as well to make sure that actually people can be independent to get to work. So, um, you know, there are lots of lots of different things going on around employment. What is your overall goal for working with disabled people in the future? So my um, overall goal is, I think as I've described, but what I want to say is really important is that transitions. Mm. Because, you know, when young people um, are thinking about adulthood, that can mm. sometimes be a, a, a very exciting time yeah. and sometimes it can be a bit scary yeah. um, and people don't know what that change means. So, yeah. for example, if, if a child needs to see a doctor when they reach 18, their doctor's going to have to change and, and that can be quite hard. Um, so it's working with, particularly with health and looking internally at what we can do to make sure that that transition is really smooth um, and we um, provide opportunities that people want. Um, and again, as I said, so what we've got available in Wiltshire means that disabled people can continue living in Wiltshire um, if that's what they want to do, close to their friends, their families, within their community um, and have opportunities um, for a fulfilling life. Thank you for your time and your answers today, me and the young pioneers appreciate it greatly. No problem. I uh, appreciate and feel very honoured to be the first person to be part of this. So thank you. Follow Wiltshire Seals Pioneer View podcast for more information. Get in touch, email localoffer at wiltshire.gov.uk.